Mungu Taifa lako na jione siku zote vina ndugu mpya rohoni na hawa waliobatizwa sasa wakapata tena heri kuwa wana wa Mungu ngoje kwa matumaini ile siku ya kufufuka kupewa pongezi ya kweli naomba hayo kwa bwana wetu Yesu Kristo mwanao na yeshi na kutawala nawe katika bonde wa roho mtakatifu Mungu daima na milele Pastor Regin A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. In those days, the crowd of the Philippians joined in attacking Paul and Silas, and the magistrates tore the garments of them and gave the orders to beat them with the rods. And when they had inflicted many blows upon them, they drew them into prison, charging the jailer to keep them safe. Having received this charge, he put them into the inner prison and fastened their feet in the stocks. But about midnight, Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns to God and the prisoners who were listening to them. And suddenly there was a great earthquake, so that the foundations of the prison were shaken. And everyone's chains were unfastened. When the jail the jailer woke and saw that the prison, the prison doors were open. He drew his sword and was about to kill himself, supposing that the prisoners had escaped. But Paul cried, cried with a loud voice, Do not harm yourself, for we are all here. And he called for lightness and rights to eat. And trembling with fear, he fell down before Paul and Silas. And he brought them out and said, Men, what must I do to be saved? And they said, Believe in the Lord Jesus, and you will be saved you and your household. And they spoke the word of the Lord to him and to all that were in his house. And he took them the same hour of the night and washed their wounds. And he was baptized at once with all his family. Then he brought them up into his house and set food before them, and he rejoiced with all his household that he had, he had believed in God. The word of the Lord. Responsible Psalm. With your right hand you save me, O Lord. And I thank you, Lord, with all my heart. You have heard the words of my mouth. In the presence of the angels, I praise you. I bow down toward your holy temple. In presence, Lord. I give thanks to your name for your merciful love and your faithfulness. You have exalted your name and your promise of all. On the day I called, you answered me. You increased 
the strength of my soul. With your right hand, you save me, O Lord. With your right hand, you save me. The Lord you will accomplish this for me. O Lord, your merciful love is eternal. Discard not the work of your hands. With your right hand, you save me, O Lord. Acclamation. I will send the spirit of the truth to you, says the Lord. He will guide you into all the truth. From the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, Now I am going to him who sent me. Yet none of you asks me, Where are you going? But because I have said these things to you, sorrow has filled your hearts. Nevertheless, I tell you the truth. It is to your advantage that I go away. For if I do not go away, the counselor will not come to you. But if I go, I will send him to you. And when he comes, he will convince the world of sin and of righteousness and of judgment. Of sin, because they do not believe in me of righteousness, because I go to the Father, and you will see me no more. Of judgment, because the ruler of this world is judged. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise be to Jesus. An unlikely person has joined the fold of the disciples this morning. The jailer himself, the man at the gate, the man who takes care of the prisoners, who makes sure that they are well punished and well chained and well kept inside the prison. He himself has become a disciple, a follower of Christ. It's not as if he was arrested or he, or he was coerced to do that or he was forced to become one. No. Out of his own will, he was the one who asked that question. Brothers, what must I do to be saved? Willingly, he asked the question. Nobody pointed any gun at him. Nobody flung him. Nobody chained him. Nobody coerced him. Nobody threatened him. He was the one who took himself to the apostles and asked them, Brothers, what must I do to be saved? That's the power of God. That is how Christianity works. God does his own things. Quietly, gently, people begin to believe in him because of what he does. And imagine that man now. So, Paul and Silas, they were there, chained. But just as Psalm 124, verse 8, Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. So they placed all their trust in God. Just as we are home now, we have placed all our trust in God. And there was something that they were doing. That's why we say, as we are home, let us not forget ourselves. They were singing praises. They were praying and singing praises. That one attracted the Spirit of God to the cell. 
to the jail, to the prison. You in your home, this is time. We sing more of the praises. We pray more. And then we attract the presence of God down to our homes. And when that happens, mm, now you saw what happened to the disciples. That's when everything will be opened. That's when the world be good to have. That's when there will be joy. That's when there will be, even in the midst of, in the midst of death, the disciples found joy and happiness. They found courage because God came in. But they were about to be king, maybe, but in the midst of that. And look at how the situation is now. Everybody is afraid. We are about to be swallowed or by a virus we don't know anything about. But prayer and praise can change the situation. And when we do that, we wouldn't even think more of the virus. Because we are praising God and we are praying to God. He occupies our minds. That's even when the liberation begins. And at the end of it all, those who thought, oh, these people will all die in their homes, these people will all die in their country, this will all die. They may be among those who say, oh, brothers, what do we do to be saved? Because what they had in mind never happened. What they had in mind for the children of God, that the whole children of God will be wiped away in the place of the earth. It never happened. It will never come to pass. With time, I know that many people who were against the children of God will join them. Many who say, let us wipe these ones away. Let us kill them with this or that. They will soon equally become the disciples of Jesus. With God, everything is possible. Amen.
Hivyo hivyo bari ya kula. Natuwa kikombe. Shukuru tena. Kawapa ukuwa suwa kia kisemi. Tuwa ini mpume wote. Hii kini mpume cha damu ya. Damu ya gando jimi ya lamilele. Chape kambika pa ajili yeni. Kwa ajili ya wengi kwa mandale ya damu. Nyeni hivyo kwa kini kumbunga. Mwana kulikumbo ke katika lako kwa kote duniani Kutukamlisha katika upenda Sisi pamoja na baba mtakatifu wetu Francis Na askofu wetu Martin Na matumishi wako kote Kwa kumbo ke mbia ndugu zetu Kaliofari kitunia wakiwa kutumita kukoko Kwa kumbo ke na marehe mwote Kwa poke kizinuru ya uso wako na kwa mba utuzulimie sisi sote, yene tustekele, tuziriki uzima wa mulele, na kukusifu na kukutukuza, pamoja na marie mikira mitikere, mama mungo, mitume wendikere na atakatifu wote, kalio kukandesa, takukale, kwa njiamanao, Yesu Christo. Mungia yake pamoja na ina ndani yake wewe Mungu baba mwenyezi katika moja wa roho mtakatifu unapata heshima na utukufu wote 
daima na milele na sasa tusali kwa imani ile aliyofundisha bwana wetu baba yetu niye mbinguni Bwana tunakuomba utuombe katika maovu yote tujalie kwa wema na maana mashani mwezi usiepushe damu na damu kwa huruma yako usipadaishwe na jambo lolote ngo nje kwa matumaini ili kuwa kipombozi wetu Yesu Kristo acha milele e bwana Yesu Kristo ni uambia mtume wako tumachieni amani na mapeni amani yangu usizitazame dami zetu ila tu imani ya kanisa lako Nijalia mwana mmoja kama yalivyo mapenzi yako. Naishi na kutawala daima na milele. Amani ya Bwana iwe daima nanyi. Tutakiane amani. We are one holy family. We are one in the Lord. Holy family. We are one holy family. We are one in the
Everyone, we are Sikilize Maombi Yeti. Now, Shereka Boom, Tokatifu, our cold way to the tail, Sahara Katika Maija Yeti, Hapa Piani, Nafuraha, the Millennium Piguri. Number high, Pajia Christu. God bless our holy family in the heart of Yemen. Standing tall among people of good to spread the message of the Lord. We are the people of different nations. We are the people. But together we are all coming to spread the message of the Lord. So we pray, Saint Joseph, Mother Mary. Amen. 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 Amen.